Commissioner Brown. Here, City of Muskegon. Commissioner Sear. Here, Twin Lake, Michigan. Commissioner Hovey Wright. Here, City of Muskegon. Commissioner Hughes. Commissioner Hughes. Here, Muskegon Township. Commissioner Laring. Here, Muskegon County Hall of Justice. Commissioner Nash. Here, City of Muskegon. Chairman Skolnick. Uh, here, City of Norton Shores. Commissioner Wilkins. Here, uh, Muskegon County Hall of Justice. Commissioner Pago. Here, Muskegon County Hall of Justice. Okay, I'll entertain a motion for the approval of minutes of March 2nd, 2021. So moved. Okay, we have a motion of support. Um, can I have a call vote, please? I didn't hear the support. Who was that? Support. Thank I'll, you. I'll support it, yeah, whatever. Commissioner Sear. Uh, yes. Commissioner Hovey Wright. Is this minutes? Yes. yes. Sorry. Yes. Commissioner Hughes. Yes. Commissioner Laring. Yes. Commissioner Nash. Yes. Chairman Skolnick. Chairs. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was muted. Yes. Thank you. Commissioner Wilkins. Yes. Commissioner Brown. Yes. Commissioner Pego. Yes. And our minutes are passed. And now it is time for public comment. Is there anyone with their hand raised that would like to make a public comment? I believe you have two minutes on an agenda item to speak. Nobody? Okay. Items for consideration. I saw one oh, hand. Is there uh, one Mike hand? Mike Barashe has hand up for a minute. I don't know if it was on purpose or not. Um, Everybody see one? I can't see the screen. Okay. Mr. Farage, if you're there and you wanted to speak, now's the time. No? Okay. So items for consideration are um, the first one, CPS 20-04-20, Public Defender made a material to authorize the Public Defender's Office to apply for renewal of the MIDC Michigan Indigent Defense Commission grant for fiscal year 22 and accept the grant award upon approval by the Michigan Indigent Defense Commission. The motion. So support. moved. Support. I, uh, motion from Commissioner Hughes and support from I think it was Commissioner Wilson. Commissioner oh, Wilkins. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Is there any questions, comments, or concerns? Okay, seeing none, may we have a roll call vote, please? Yes, can I confirm? I thought I had Commissioner Hughes and Commissioner Nash supporting. It was Commissioner Hughes, I thought, and Commissioner Wilkins was the one that supported it, but we okay. could hear. So then I believe Commissioner Nash seconded it. Commissioner Hovey Wright. Yes. Commissioner Hughes. Yes. Commissioner Laring. Yes. Commissioner Nash. Yes. Chairman Skolnick. Yes. Commissioner Wilkins. Yes. Commissioner Brown. Yes. Commissioner Sear. Yes. Commissioner Pago. Yes. And that motion passes. And the next motion for consideration is CPS 21 slash 04 dash 21 public defender me and the material to authorize the public defender to change the labor distribution of the assistant public defender three position X09301 from 100%. 2600 to 2994 to 100% of 2600 to 2996 funded by the MIDC grant effective January 1, 2021. So support. Right. Um, thank you, Commissioner Hobie Wright and Commissioner Hughes. Are there any questions, comments, or concerns? Okay, seeing none, we'll have a roll call vote, please. Commissioner Hughes. Yes. Commissioner Laring. Yes. Commissioner Nash. Yes. Chairman Skolnick. Yes. Commissioner Wilkins. Yes. Commissioner Brown. Yes. Commissioner Sear. Yes. Commissioner Hovey Wright. 
Yes. Commissioner Pego. Yes, and that motion passes. <clears throat> Next on the agenda is unfinished business. Is there any unfinished business to come before the board today? No unfinished business. Okay. Under new business, um, we had a motion that I submitted that um, I don't see. It's not in my packet. Not in any of our packets. It's on the screen. Yeah, I had it too. On the screen. Good. Kathy, can you put the motion back up so she can read it? I, I have it. I it's just, on the screen now. Yeah. It's not on my screen. That's odd. That's okay. I have it. <clears throat> okay, I'm making a motion to um, a Muskegon County adopt a resolution supporting our Senate Bill 1 2021 that was approved through the Michigan Senate. Can I have a second for that motion? Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Questions, comments? Can we read the resolution, please? Yes, yeah, well, okay. Can everybody hear me? I can Resolution supporting Senate Bill 1, 2021. Whereas many counties in the state of Michigan have passed resolutions opposing orders unilaterally issued by Governor Whitmer and various state agencies in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. And whereas Muskegon County wishes to voice our solidarity with the other counties in the state in opposing orders unilaterally issued by Governor Whitmer and the various state agencies in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. And Whereas Muskegon County supports measures to combat COVID-19, such as following social distancing recommendations, health screenings for employees and customers, promoting healthy hygienic practices and encouraging individuals that are considered high risk to continue to self-quarantine and adhere to the recommendations established by the Centers for Disease Control, CDC, and whereas Senate Bill 1 would amend the public health code to require an emergency public health order issued by the director of the health department and human services, also known as DHHS, to include information about the rationale for the order to limit the effectiveness of such order to 28 days unless the legislator approves an extension and to prohibit a new emergency order that addresses the same epidemic as an earlier order without legislative approval. Now, therefore, be it resolved that Muskegon County supports the adoption of Senate Bill one 2021 by the legislator and governor to ensure that orders issued to combat COVID-19 are subject to checks and balances. Be it further resolved that a copy of this resolution be sent to Governor Whitmer, Senator John Bumstead, Representative of the 20, uh, 92nd District, Representative Terry Sabo, and Representative of the 91st District, Greg Van Workham, the Michigan Senate, the Michigan House of Representatives, Michigan Association of Counties, and to the clerk of each county in the state of Michigan. This has been adopted by several counties in Michigan, as well Ms. as the Senate. Madam Chair. Yes. Yes, um, we already uh, defeated this resolution on Tuesday. Um, I don't know under what, uh, how you're getting away with putting this up again for a revote, um, but we need a rules change so that this can't be done. Uh, in the future. Um, it's irresponsible to be uh, defying the governor who is only trying to contain this virus, which at this point is now a new surge. We are up, I think it's 52%, something like that, uh, positivity rate in, in the month of March and uh, because of the new variant and, and to to defy the governor in this way, I think is irresponsible and uh, we need to vote this down. Besides, we don't want to encourage further revotes and revotes and revotes. Madam Chair, can I make a comment? Yes, Commissioner Lane, uh, please so go ahead. So my comment uh, regarding this vote last week, it was actually, it wasn't voted down. Well, I guess it was because- It failed. Uh, but it, this is the proper procedure that motions come back to committee and uh, we can present motions over and over and over again, which you have 
done on several occasions. Um, so no, just, I have never done that. We uh, You're wrong. against this, and we will um, continue this process. Secondly, uh, the governor's actions have already been uh, shut down once, and she took another pathway instead of going through the current legal pathway of having these restrictions put on through the legislature. We don't need uh, edicts from the governor or any other governing body. Uh, Muskegon County does not have the numbers that other counties do, and we don't need a state mandate to direct the county. Our the health procedures in our county. So uh, this will allow the proper process, the constitutional process of going through the legislator for edicts that are passed down. I asked all the commissioners last week that they would look into um, the doctrine of a uh, lesser magistrate. And this is um, our constitutional authority uh, to pass this on and let the governor know that we don't like these edicts coming down from her. Thank you. Madam Chair, may I ask a question, please? Yes, Commissioner Brown. Clar some clarification also. Uh, in regards to uh, um, Commissioner Hopi Wright, I, I thought the, the motion was to adopt the Sheboygan resolution, that this is, this is different than that. A am I correct in that statement? Yes. How is it different? Well, the other one was a resolution what? by Sheboygan. This this was. But this says adopt. the same thing, I believe. Yeah. Well, I I don't have that in front of me. And then also, our legal counsel did did mention to us that this was the way to bring that motion back through committee. So um, I'm just asking that if that's uh, from what I understand from my notes that that's the way it was supposed to be done. So thank you. Well, it's supposed to be done that way originally. It was not done appropriately the first. Uh, on Tuesday, Chairman to Pagel, come, I have a right, comment. Supposed to come through committee. The committee. Chairman Pagel, could I have a comment, please? Yes, yeah, thank you. Uh, um, I would like to ask our corporate counsel. I did think that only the only way to bring back a motion like this was through the opposing uh, voters. So, is that true or not? I'm just want to clarify that please so so we have looked at this and we don't believe that anything in either robert's rules or the board rules precludes this committee from uh, making this motion even though the board um, did not pass either this or a similar resolution it's not a motion for reconsideration which i think might be um, what you're thinking of with respect to uh, who brings it okay um, this is a new motion and there's nothing that prohibits it from being raised in our view thank you very much you're welcome Thank you. <clears throat> Are there any other comments, questions, or concerns? Yeah, I, Madam Chair. Yes. Yeah. Um, you said this is a new motion, but when represent when uh, Commissioner Pago introduced the same resolution, only it said Sheboygan instead of Muskegon County. She said sub substitute Muskegon County. It, she didn't have it written that way, but that's what was voted on. So it seems like nitpicking to say this is not a, a re, reconsideration of the same motion, same resolution. But I'm okay with voting on it. I'm just, I want to point out that this is not appropriate on, on any level. Any other questions, comments, questions, comments, or concerns? Okay, roll call vote, please. Commissioner Lehring. Yes. Commissioner Nash. I'm sorry, my microphone was off, but before we pass this, or if it passes or not, I would just like to make sure that we have the the um, votes cast placed on this resolution. Thank you. So those who vote no, will, it will not be listed. Whether they vote yes or no, I would like to list it. I can do that. Okay. Thank you. 
You're up to vote, Charles. Can we continue with the roll call vote, please? Commissioner Nash. No. Chairman Skolnick. No. Commissioner Wilkins. No. Commissioner Brown. Yes. Commissioner Sear. Yes. Commissioner Hovey Wright. No. Commissioner Hughes. No. Commissioner Pago. Yes. Five okay. no, four yes. Thank you. Is there any public comment? And oh, I'm sorry. Is there any other new business to come before the board? No other new business. Okay. Yes. Is Mr. Oh. Uh, Chairman Pago. Um, yes. I'm not sure the right procedure for this, but, um, uh, and I don't have it prepared because we can't do it this way. I'd like to propose a rules change so that we cannot bring back the same uh, motions that have been defeated. Uh, so we'll, we'll need to address that under rules at a later point. Thank you. Is there any other new business to come before the board, the committee, sorry. Um, seeing none, is there any public comment on anything? Any public comment? Any two hands raised. Hand raise. Okay. Um, Michael Farage, you're first up. Can everybody hear me okay? Yes, sir. Yeah. We, we do. Okay, Madam Chair, members of the committee, I'm very disappointed. I'm not only disappointed as an advocate of the black and brown community all my life and how the underserved have been uh, victims of white privilege in the public schools. I just watched commissioners now, uh, basically like uh, Commissioner Hovey Wright, continue to basically look at these individuals as people who can't stay out after 10 o'clock without the help of the so-called uh, white privileged people or the white liberal, as I should say. The black and brown community knows how to get up in the morning and take care of itself. It doesn't need Muskegon County elected officials to continue to enslave them. You've basically handed over dictatorial powers now to a white privileged millionaire with dictatorship over black and brown communities. By also closing businesses and supporting that at 10 o'clock, they cannot find extra resources for employment. Therefore, you're making the black and brown community dependent on government. And that's because you need people to do your laundry and pour your coffee ultimately in the end. Isn't that what this is all about? The answer is yes. And what's very sad is that these other problems are completely being ignored that are caused by the dictatorial powers where Muskegon County does not have the problems of other counties you're basically continuing to say that doesn't mean anything. County government was set up to protect its citizenry and taxpayers against state government and federal government. Um, we know that, but we continue to ignore it. Isn't that what this is really all about? And the fact, fact of the matter is, it is individual liberals that portray themselves and give dictatorial powers to the governor. You had a chance right now, right now, to set these people free, but no, the governor keeps them in chains. Why? Because you want them dependent on yourselves, your power and your government. With all due respect, that is the worst, that is, that, that is the complete opposite of what the founding fathers set for this country. Sir, your two minutes are up. Thank you for your time, Madam Chair. Thank you, Mr. Farage. Are there any other public comments? Are there any hand raised? Anne Devine. And Erwin, your opportunity for public comment is now. You may start. Ms. Erwin, are you there? You, you're unmuted, I am. Maybe we can come back to you, Mrs. Darwin. Is there, there's other people with their hands raised. Who's next? Tanya Cabala. Who is it? Tanya Cabala. Tanya Cabala, you're next. 
Hi, I'm Tanya Kabala. I'm in Whitehall, a lifelong um, Muskegon County resident. I was involved in over 20 years of effort cleaning up White Lake due to pollution. We based it on science. We paid attention to the scientists. We worked with state and public local health experts because we paid attention to public health guidance. I worked with Democrats, independents, Republicans. I never would have imagined that the Republican Party has turned into uh, the, the body that it has and is so anti-science. Um, I opposed the resolution. I was appalled to see it on the agenda. The pandemic is not political. It has been made partisan. I am ashamed of anybody who has taken part of this. And I would ask that folks stop trying to hinder our public health experts and work together to help us get through this pandemic. I know people who have done what they, they have tried to wear masks, tried to social distance, all why, while the lies and propaganda have been spread. And it is shameful. It is outrageous. I never imagined I would see our country and my local community this way. And I would ask folks to stop the partisan games playing and work together. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Tabala. I believe we have other hands raised. Tony Barnes. Hello, Mr. Tony Barnes. You're up, sir. Are you there, Tony? Ma Madam Chair, thank you for the opportunity to speak. My name is Tony Barnes, 5920 Metamore Lane in Twin Lake. I just wanted to say uh, thanks to the county commissioners for uh, voting correctly, both on Tuesday and today. The device of politics are nothing more than shenanigans, um, or maybe one would call those, uh, I guess, kind of a joke that we're even looking at some of this nonsense. So I'm, I'm glad that the county commission is doing exactly what needs to be done and voting down this nonsense. So I, I, I do thank you for your time. Uh, please continue to do what's right for our county and not worry about what's going on in Lansing. If you want a job in Lansing, run for one of those positions because that's clearly not your job as a county commissioner. Stay in your lane and let's get the job done in our community, not in Lansing. If you want to run there, go for it. Thanks. Have a great day. Thanks, Tony. And we have a few more hands raised. And Darwin again. Mrs. Darwin, are you there this time? Ann, can you hear us? We can't hear you. Is she on me? Yeah. Okay. okay. Hers is not working. We have Margo Haynes. Margo Haynes. Margo Haynes, are you? Yes, are you I'm on? here. I'm here. Just had to unmute. Thank you very much for taking the time for public comment. Um, I am so appalled to hear the statement by a county commissioner that county, or I guess it's a support of those who voted yes incorrectly on this, um, that, that county government exists only to fight state government. County government also um, exists, and particularly this committee, to protect our safety and our health to protect us in the local area. And you have done just the opposite, those who have voted yes on this motion and on Tuesday. Uh, I am so distressed that my own safety and health is put at risk by people who try to politicize basic health and science, as Mr. Barnes said. Um, this is not a political issue. This is an issue of my safety living in this community. I didn't identify myself. I'm at 5115 uh, Brookwood Circle, Montague. Sorry about that. And um, living in this community, I want to be as safe as possible. And that's why we have public safety. That's why we have police force and courts. And that's also why we have public health um, rules that try to protect us. None of us here have ever lived through a pandemic like this before. And it requires respect for the science and respect for your fellow citizens and not political gamesmanship. I'm so ashamed that the people supposedly representing us are representing us uh, trying to fight state safety and not trying to protect our own safety. Thank you very much. Thank you. Jennifer Hendricks. Jennifer Hendricks, are you there? 
I am. Thank you. Can you hear me? Yes, we yes we can. Thank okay. you. Okay, so thank you for this opportunity to comment. Um, while I would like to say to Margaret and to Tanya that the role of government is to share information and then you determine yourselves what is good for you and your family. The job of government is to not to, you are yourself are in control of your own safety, not me, only you. And again, the, the role of government is to share information and then you determine what's best for you and your family. And then as far as uh, the science and the data, absolutely. So let's go by the science and the data. Let's say in a restaurant, the communal rate of, is 1.4%. That doesn't even make sense that a restaurant should be shut down based on that. The science and the data from COVID-19 shows that it is a point or a less than 99% um, death rate for a normal average citizen with no committee rate, no committees. Therefore, you should have voted yes because we live in America for the freedoms that they offer and provide. Not somebody telling me that I should be scared and afraid, but yet we should be able to determine that ourselves. Thank you. Thank you. And Darwin again. And Darwin, are you there? Can you hear me? We can hear you now. How are you? Oh, fine, finally. <laughs> I'm fine. Uh, my comment is this, I'm very disappointed with the commissioners uh, for not voting in this resolution. You say go by the science. That's what we're doing. Uh, people have gotten the shots, they're wearing masks, they're doing their social distancing, but guess what? This isn't working, is it? Um, we are adults, we can make our own decisions. Um, I'm very disappointed in seeing how our governor is um, taking more power than what she's supposed to. Uh, the legislature is supposed to make the laws, not the governor. Um, Marsha, you are my commissioner, Marsha Hubby Wright. You are my commissioner. I'm very disappointed in you and I hope we can get somebody to run against you and get out of office, get you out of office. Uh, Chair Skolink, um, I would suggest you look at the contract you made. And, and uh, well, that was made and you agreed to. Um, you have a lot of power and I feel like you are not using it in the best interest of our county. Uh, we don't need government to dictate, dictate to us. We are adults, we can make our own decisions. I'm not ready for a socialist country and I hope you aren't either. I think enough is enough. Again, I'm very disappointed in this commission I'm very proud of the ones that voted in favor of this resolution. A resolution is only as good as the paper that it's written on, that's true. But you could have made a statement. We need to vote some more of you out. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Aaron. Marianne Darnell. Marianne Darnell, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Hi, I'm Marianne Darnell. Hello. Yep, we can uh -oh. hear you. Okay, I'm Marianne Darnell, City of Muskegon Heights, and I'd like to comment. Uh, the first guy that spoke. First of all, this resolution has nothing to do with uh, black or brown people. It had to do with stopping the governor from doing a great job. She's trying to save lives. I am so sick and tired. Every time something comes up, you bring in black or brown people. That's that's not an issue here. But what you don't do, you're not over there telling those people that's bringing up these 33 bills to suppress the vote not to do it. So please, keep us out of your nonsense. Work with us. Marsha, great job. All of the rest of you, great job. Keep us out of your nonsense and stop trying to stop us from voting. Thank you very much. Thank you. Are there any other public comments? Okay, nobody else is raising their hands. Are there any other final board comments? Okay, seeing none, I'll take a motion to adjourn. So moved. So moved.
Okay. We don't have to vote on that, right? We are adjourned. <laughs>